What's going on guys, Britter here, and today we're going to learn some JavaScript with a game. You guys know I love to learn while playing a game, so let's jump into it. We're going to uh, play Dungeons of Kithgard, For the and win. we're going to change our programming language to JavaScript, make sure it's set on that. Um, I did run through this before, and it was set on Python, so we're going to make sure we're set on JavaScript and hit play. Before I jump into it, I'm going to make sure, uh, well, goals, avoid the spikes, collect the gem, guide your hero by writing a program with code. Write code in the editor on the right and click run when you're ready. Your hero will read it and follow your instructions. Move your hero down the hallway without touching the spikes For on the walls. For the win! And it's set grab up as chopsticks. So that's great. Alright, so, grab the treasure. You can use these methods. Alright, you can use these methods. The methods are here. Type your code right. on the right. So... Our hero has moved right. We're gonna now move our hero down, and then we're gonna move our hero right again, and this should do it. Run, success. All right, move on to the next one. We got some stuff going on here. Success. We got some XP, we got some you gems, and we got some leather belts. And from what I understand, guys, you can get a pro account for this, but, um, a good majority of it's free, so we're going to play for free as long as we can. Um, the gems uh, give you access to more things. We're going to go ahead and start Gems in the Deep. For the win! Um, so, we, got the, we had the shoes, now we're going to equip the belt. And see we have gems here, so we can unlock gloves when we get 47 gems, this ring when it's 67, and then this armor when it's 50 gems, and it gives us... 50 health so there is uh it is good to get more gems so we're gonna try to get as many gems as we can oh, all right, right. Uh, avoid the spikes collect the gems start level all right so we need to move right um we're gonna move down and then we're gonna move up but we're gonna want to move up to right and then, hero, move right. Hold on. Yeah, hero move, hero, move right, hero, move down, move up to, move right. And then we're gonna, that's going to collect all the gems. All right, so let's move right. run it. Move down. And we can see already it's a success. Move up. We can go ahead and watch it play through. Move right. Alright, we got some more gems, and we're level 3 already, that's awesome. Alright, now we're on level 3. I think you also have to be a member to do these uh, practice modes. Yeah, you do. Alright, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to keep going through the levels, alright? So, For the win. Shadow Guard. Um, I think we have enough. Yeah, let's get this. We got enough for that. Confirm. Equip. Alright. Move right. Combat. Alright, don't run to the spikes, collect all the gems, and don't let the ogre see you. Little guy's down here. Move so let's right. Go ahead and start the level. We're gonna move right. Hero move up. Hero move right. Hero move down. And then hero move right, and that should do it. Move right. Move up. Heck yeah. Move right. Move down. Move right. This <laughs> will be. Alright. Got some more wins. Got some more XP. We're moving right along. Alright, so that was. This is level four. Enemy mine. Tread carefully. Danger is a foot. For the win! All right, we're gonna equip that. I guess I didn't have that equipped last time. That's okay. All right, and we don't have enough money to unlock anything else, so we're just gonna play. All right, avoid the fire traps. Get the gym, use five lines of code or less. Okay, so um, in order to use five lines of code or, or less, we're gonna have to use this here. So we could have done hero move right three times, but instead do this and it makes it one live code. So we've moved right. Now we need to do hero, move up, hero, move right, 
Hero move down, and that's going to be one, two, three times. And then Hero move right, and that's going to be two times. And that should do it, and that should be one, two, three, four, five lines ago. You can see it's a success already, but I like to let it run through. Pretty cool. Alright. More gems, more XP. Moving right along. Alright guys, this is going to be level 5. It's called True Names. For the win! Alright, and we got... Oh, we got a sword now. Um, but I think we can also unlock this, so we'll go ahead and unlock that and equip those gloves. So now we're just waiting on the ring. I'm sure some other things will unlock later, but we'll right. go ahead and jump into it here. Attack Brack twice, collect the gem, attack Treg twice. Your hero must survive. So that's Brack, that's Treg, we gotta attack them. Be sure to attack each ogre twice. Use the attack method to attack an enemy by their name. Capitalization is important. Okay, so Hero move right, he's gonna move right, and then Brack's gonna come down. We attack Brack twice, and then we move Hero, move right, Hero, attack, Trig, Hero, attack, Trig. Now, I wonder if we need to move right twice here because we move right once and it comes up but do we need to move one two so we're here i think we do so let's go ahead and put that in all right let's run move it. right and it's a success we that already move let's right go ahead and watch him get trained okay done that's awesome Alright guys, we went ahead and completed five levels. We're going to go ahead and stop here, but next time we're going to keep on going. Hopefully get to level 10. But I thank you guys for hanging out. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of Code Combat if you're joining along. Um, let me know. See you guys on the next one. Bye!